So we're back in Cabo San Lucas and I, I'm, I'm meeting up with my friend Jacob today and he's taking us out on his 4x4 uh, Nissan Pathfinder, which is a pretty badass rig right here. We brought five rods, a bunch of plugs, some bait, and uh, we're, we're going to try and catch some fish today. So we woke up super early this morning. Like, I was up at four in the morning, started driving here to meet Jacob. Jacob took us here at, what, got here by before six and started fishing. I met Jacob like maybe three, four years ago. He recognized our show, he watches our show a lot, and he fished, he's been fishing here for a really long time. He moved here from Arizona and he's been living in Mexico for the past like five or so years. And he really has got the fishing down. So it's awesome to really be able to go out in his um, he's on Pathfinder. It's like a one of these old 90s ones. My favorite style. I really like his, his rig. It's really fun to go all around the mountains and cruise up and down the coastline to try and look for fish. But the thing is, it's actually really hard to fish here in Cabo. It's the fishing is there's huge fish, but they're not easy to find. You gotta find them. The quality is there. The quantity, not so much. You gotta work for these fish. Let's get started. Going. It keeps going. A strong, oh, I caught 10 oh of these yesterday. Goodness. Holy crap! Oh my goodness! Holy crap! Yeah, very nice. Wow. Thank <laughs> you. It's still dark outside. Oh Was that awesome or what? Oh my goodness. Here, turn and take a picture together. Yeah. All right. Got him. Thank you. This is the biggest jack. Oh my goodness.
I killed one, we're I'm gonna need to move or we're gonna blind guy. cast, which but. I think we should just. I don't know. I don't know. Because they could roll through. Oh, they, they could absolutely roll through. Wait, we're ready here. They could yeah. absolutely. It's good to see a tide, you know. We wait a little bit longer. Yeah. See if anything pops up. We're at the morning end of, like, the first end of this bite. I would say, I mean, until 7.30, well, it could happen. Maybe the water could just start boiling. Like that? Yes! That's a rooster! Oh, my God, that's a rooster, bitch! Yes, it is! inch? There's a difference between uh, Jack and Annette. Okay, so this, this could be a 30-45 minute fight. Do not force anything. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Do not force it. Let Only it. take what you can get. Do if it starts fighting, to... let it take it. Absolutely. Especially as it gets closer and closer and closer. This surf, when it goes back out, uh -huh. heavy fish is going to pull even even harder. We're actually going to loosen the drag as it gets closer. Oh, really? It may come Yesterday, up yeah. and out the in the way. The waves are so hard that I had to run in and out with it. Exactly. So, so we're loosening gonna the drag is a better idea. Yeah. Yeah, we could be here for a little bit. <laughs> I saw it chasing it, too. Yeah. I was like, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it. Yeah. Woo. Okay, so let's not lose this fish. This drag is not loose? I don't know. <laughs> well, what do you think? I you want to pull it in, plane. right? Yeah. Okay. Right there. Yeah, 
it's a huge jet. Yeah. That was still epic though, man. Good job. That's teamwork right there. All right. Woo! Oh, On the GT nice, ice cream. Nice, healthy jack. Perfect. Yeah. That, too. that was really awesome oh, to watch that. Man. Jacob, let me get a picture of you two together. Yeah, let's Come get on. a picture together, man. I thought it was a rooster fish. Wow. No bad days, right? No bad Woo! days. All right, nice. Sweet. Sweet. I'm not going to lie, I like the sound of that. That uh, Saltiga drag. Oh, it's like music, huh? That sounds nice, yeah. Nice and it loud. It pretty well, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. That was expert news, man. Not the rooster we wanted, but there's more bait Woo. down there. Let's do it again. There's another pod coming through. Get a picture. I'm here. First of all, can I show you how thick this guy is? He's a thick boy. Hey, look at my leg. It's the same. It's thicker. It's thicker than my leg. Like bloody red. It never gets old. It does not get old. Another school coming. So we see. Mullet's starting to come in through here, and we've all got mullet color, colored lures and, and other topwater lures, and we're throwing it and trying to get them to start a feeding frenzy. Um, so far, Jack's got one, and that fight was so awesome. You could see, you could see it chasing it. He was like, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling. And then you watched it eat it, and that rod bend. That's the best part of fishing. Whew. crap that was an awesome fish these fish are just so powerful like the power is just very intense bigger than any other surf fish stronger than any other surf fish I, I've fought before in North Carolina we catch some of those bigger red drum this is like two to three times stronger man it just takes you out and takes you out and takes you out you bring it in it goes back out you bring it in it goes back out it's a real long fight and it's also such an epic fight we thought that last one was a rooster fish and I had never tried, I had, ne I had never caught a rooster fish off the surf like that before. So I really wanted to see what that felt like, but turns out it was a, it was a jack. But jacks are also freaking crazy. They like go all over the place and it really gives your, your biceps uh, a test. I'm glad I've been working out a little bit. And it was awesome to test out something besides my Stella. I got to test out Jacob's Saltiga and his Sentry rod, his Cabo Surfcaster rod. It was a fun rod to use. I'm usually using my, my, own, my own gear, my own Stella. I have never tried a Daiwa before. And after trying that last, um, that last jack, I like the sound of that drag. It sounds great. It feels really smooth. It had a lot of power. I think I might be changing my mind about the Daiwa. Okay, so next. It's getting kind of late in the day. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going down the beach to see if we can find anything else. So far, we got two big jacks, enormous jacks. I'm happy with that already, but we're gonna see if we can find any fish using the drone. Let's get started. This is crazy. I love it. Guys, I would do it too. Every morning before work by myself. So I'm at my second location now. And I'm setting up a little bit of a smaller rod because I'm going to do my bottom fishing 
Meanwhile, my other big rod, I've got a plug on there. In case I see anything start busting, I can run to it. But I'm going to be doing bottom fishing now. Use one of these rigs right here. Cool. Oh, I made some rigs. You want one? Cool. Those are nice hooks. Thank you. I think they're a good size. Wow. But then I put these little things because sand fleas. I they like have these the hooks. they have the um this oh, kind yeah. of color on the yep. bottom. Yep, yep. Pompano like to eat that. But um yeah, these are terrific circle hooks. We can't get anything like this here. Oh really? No. Well, no. we thought we had a problem where a lot of our subscribers, some of them can't tie anything. Like oh, they're, they're they don't have fingers. Like that that's yeah. yeah yeah yeah. They don't have fingers, so or they can't see because they're older. This makes it so easy for people. So that will probably be good for you at night. This is what I'm using. For the for the drone? Yeah, the whole rig is gonna be this. Thing. Is that do you put that in your weed whacker? <laughs> it looks like weed whacker thickness. Okay. And just like that, the rig comes out pretty easily. We're gonna tie to the top right here, and then we're gonna attach the sinker to the bottom right here. And I made sure to have an extra heavy sinker on the bottom, sinker clip, so that your line doesn't snap when you cast it. And these floats right here, these are like really great fish attractants. The color, the flash of the color will attract the fish. And uh, these circle hooks are great because you don't have to set it. It'll just set itself. You just reel. It doesn't get much easier than that. And there we go. Let's attach a little sinker and put some bait to the bottom. Okay, so this is the glow in the dark one. These little beads, um, under dark light or under low light conditions, they'll glow. And um, I think that's going to help attract some fish as well. And that's what I just gave Jacob. That's what I gave. Um, oh, you, you're putting. I'm making. I'm making a drone rig. Yeah, he's making a drone rig. So he, I put, gave it to Jack. Jack's putting it on, and uh, so is my dad. All right. So we've got a mixture of bait today. Fresh, fresh calamari, fresh shrimp, with a mixture of our salted baits here. Okay. First. Let's cut up some fresh squid. Nothing beats fresh bait. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put on some squid first. And then we'll put on a piece of uh, the clam, like that. We'll do the same thing for this one. Except this one we'll do shrimp. And Squiddy Bits tentacle right here. There we go. Bit of everything. A little bit of everything. There's the sinker. There's a little loop right here. This is what's going to clip to the drone. There's a T knot. And I definitely use a lot of bait thread. Dang, look at that T knot. That's a thick one. Another one, another piece of bait here. Bait threaded, no squid or tentacles on that one. I usually make the higher bait a little bit smaller. Wow. And then that is, it's all connected with an FG nut. Nice. Pretty cool rig, huh? That's really cool rig. Yeah. Okay, so now you're attached to what, what, what pound is this? So this is uh, either 50 or 65. I honestly 50 don't know. 50 or remember. 65, how about this one? 150 mono. 150. I'll jump. That's awesome, and we're gonna drone that guy out. Drone's coming home. Let's catch fish.
Mike. I might have to let this guy go. Why? It's not going anyways? No, because he's got a big belly. Am I not going to catch any? <laughs> That's okay. Watch it, watch it. Let me take a picture. Watch it. I wonder what kind of fish that is. Come on, come on. This wreck is pretty cool. So you, you know, it's in the in the water, you know, flowing around, popping around. This looks like a sand. Thing. And then you have a piece of bait in there. And they normally take the bottom one off. And sometimes they, they another the fish come along, see this guy got something to eat, they will come along with this guy here. But I guess I'll pull it up too soon. But anyway, it goes well. Waste of a cast. Waste of a cast. There was there was something small. It picked it up. It dragged it way over there. Uh, I could tell because I threw it. I flew it out straight. And my line was over these rocks. All the bait's gone. Yeah, it's gone. It's clean, huh? Both hooks are clean. Let's do that again. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure, that was really quick, buddy. How far did you make it out? 350 yards. And it took about wait. half the spool. And now we wait? Now we wait. Jacob hooked onto it and I thought it was an eel, but it, I have no idea what that is. That is a big sea monster. It's a sea monster's tail. This is, this is the the teeth. These are the teeth. These are the craziest fish I've ever seen. What is it? Wow. And what killed it? Stinks. Look at those teeth. That is crazy. We're at our next spot. I've got my bottom rig set up on one rod and I've got lures on the other rod. Right now, I'm seeing that this bottom fisher here 
Efrain, we just met him, he's got five or six rods out, he's catching some fish. So, we're gonna put a rod out at the same time and see what we catch. Jacob is putting his drone out again, and um, he's also gonna be plugging. Yeah, let's see what, let's see what happens. Wow, here, take one more. Yeah, yeah, so thank you. Fresh. Wow. That's like the same kind of clam that we have. Hold on. Look, it's the same kind of clam as this. This is our salted clam. This is the fresh clam. We're going to try using it like this. We're going to do it the same way. Like that. Isn't that awesome? I'm going to use a piece of fresh and a piece of salted. Different kind of. Let me see that. Whoa! That's nice. Whoa! Look at that. What kind of puffer is this? Supposedly they're edible. Efrain, you want it? This is our new friend Efrain. You okay on camera? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like good for, for ceviche. Ceviche, huh? Yes. How, how do you clean it? Uh, I will. I I can I can clean it for you. Okay. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Wow. That's for you? That's for me? Yes. Thank you. He's my father. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you. Hola. 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 Oh wow! You see your videos. <laughs> yeah, you see videos. Brendan, my name is Brendan. Uh huh. Sí. Horacio. 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 Hey. Oh, nice Horacio. to meet you. Sí. <laughs> uh, I, I come, on, I come sometimes come to here and I catch a lot of. So yeah, today is not a good day for fishing. Why is that? I don't know. It's been slow, right? Yes. Me too. For the past three days, very slow. Yes. What are you putting for bait? Some fresh squid, right? Fresh squid. I, I copy your idea. Put a little clam and yeah, swing. together, right? Yes. Yeah. My, my father comes every day. Come every here every day? day? Yes. Oh, good. Maybe catch anything, but come. In. Yeah. Come. Just like my dad, too. My dad goes fishing every day. Yes. Sometimes he catch nothing, but he still likes to go. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so how are you putting What kind of rig do you have here? Oh, it's a tea knot. Yes. <laughs> oh, please. You learned this from my dad video? Yes, I've seen it. The... I caught that, I had a... that one actually took the clammy bits off too. I'm surprised. So let's put more clammy bits back on. More fresh clam. Nothing beats fresh baits. The closest thing is salted baits. I just casted it out and just started moving the, the actual bait. I reeled it in a little bit and then it got a bit. And then it got bit. If I can get a few of these, that'll make a good meal for everyone. I copied this idea. <laughs> it's a good idea. Try a piece of this one off here. Are you from here? Are you yes. Cool, man. And I love fishing. Who doesn't? Everybody loves fishing. I love fishing too. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go check my rod. Yes. 
Thanks for showing us. You're welcome. Okay, after this, I'm taking him to Felix Tortas to get some lures. <laughs> Felix. Felix? He wants some help. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Have you gotten so any happy. more bites? No. No, me either. Ooh, that was a hard day of fishing. And even though we have the, the car on the beach, there's still a lot of running around. There's still a lot of casting. And that's a heavy duty rod and reel. That's like three ounces of weight we're throwing. I must have thrown it thousands, thousands of times already. You tired? <laughs> tired. Really tired. And I've been going at this for six days in a row now and it's just, it gets tiring, you know, waking up every day, four o'clock in the morning, get out of here, get out here, cast for three, four hours in hopes for some fish. That's the life, you know. <laughs> Jacob does this every single day. Um, and he says that he, he on average catches seven nice fish a week and he's out here every day. Just the morning shifts and the evening shifts. I had a great time, got to do so many different kinds of methods and we went on such an awesome adventure. Honestly, this is my favorite kind of way of fishing. It's not necessarily just the fishing itself. It's the fact that we're here on the beach by ourselves with this nice four x four vehicle, all of our rods, my whole crew here with me, doesn't beat being this remote. It doesn't beat catching huge fish off the surf like this. And to me, it's the entire journey that's, that's the best part about fishing. Here at Hey Skipper, I wanna help you guys get on fish. I wanna inspire you to get outside and, and explore the world of fishing. You meet so many people. This is just a small example of how many people you can really meet. Everywhere I go, I can meet somebody and connect with them through fishing, anywhere in the world. And I think that's a really amazing thing. So we're here at Hey Skipper trying to help you guys learn how to fish, learn the lingo, um, and, and really get you on some fish. And we do this by filming videos like this, we write, PDFs and, and ebooks that we publish on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. Um, and I write stuff about surf fishing, beach fishing, what baits to use, how to cut up the baits, like how to tie knots, just everything you really need to know. If you're new to fishing or you're just trying to learn more about fishing, our website I think is going to be really good for you. We even got to test out our brand new rigs, our Hay Skipper catch all rigs, and these rigs are awesome because there's, first of all, the bead, the floats on them, those hand painted floats. They work really well in attracting fish. And I hand chose all these different pieces and put them together in my own custom rig. And we call it the Hay Skipper Catch All Rig. And now they're, they're, they're nearly available on our website. Get them while, while they last because they're not gonna last for that long. There's about 500 of each of them. So order it now and um, you can just bring it right out to the beach and you're ready to go. Thank you all for watching. We had a great adventure. If you like this kind of adventure, comment below and we'll, we're gonna do more of these. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next week. <laughs>
cruz, the, the trash, and we make the board. Ah, okay. I never use this. It's my it's do you like the tried and true or the new? The new one. New one. The new one. The new one. You like the new you one? The new one. I don't know. I like you take both. the new one and you call uh, my friend and tell him it's good. And, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I'll take this new one. Super cool. Cool. The workshop. The workshop for the bones. I make, I make, you know, see, see wheat, see wheat. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's for tuna fish. Oh, oh that's wow. good. Wow. That's it's for tuna on the boat. Mm. Look at that. The, 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 this thing. Brandon will catch fish on those. It's pencil. Yeah. He will use those. I'll, I'll put up. I'll li so line hook, and hook. hook. Line and, and this hook. On here Only, and and it. It. And it Only. line and hook. Yeah, yeah. You put a very strong and Andy, Andy line, line, line the for okay. tuna fish. It's very, very oh, you good. polished it just now? See, look at that. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do it. Wow. Awesome. <laughs>